app on my iPad that I can run Compa Galileo wirelessly through a private VPN. And is that um, a, I, I teleport connect? Is that what you use? No, uh, it's called Air Display. Okay. And really, literally, what it does is it extends the desktop of the computer that I'm running on. Right. So I drag Compass, which is the Galileo control Here's software, right. onto my iPad. And then I can go around the venue as I would do with a wireless tablet right. and EQ the zones and listen but to the PA. The, the iPad's just so much cooler than a wireless tablet. Exactly. <laughs> and the, then, need, the need for a console is pretty much gone. I know. It really is. Um, and, and we've been we, moving in that direction for a while. But you see Tim McGraw's guy, he buys eight seats in the house. There's no front of house position anymore. Really? No. That I didn't know. He uses a DSP on the, on the truck. Wireless all around the venue. He takes eight seats in the house. He goes sits in them. He cues the rig. That's it. And he's done. He'll go up. He'll sit there. He'll mix the band off the tablet. And, and eight, all on venue. And eight seats in the cheap seats are nothing when you Compared get compared to to a, you know what sixteen seats even in a small oh, position. Oh, at least. So I'm a control freak. I'd still want to have. My, I'd still want to have my control surface. Well, you know I, what? I'm the same way. I bought a sack rig. And I'm selling it because it's and it's a brilliant. Bob Lentini is a genius. It's a brilliant system. It does stuff that you know an XL8 doesn't do. You know, for 500 bucks for the software and a bunch of Behringer IOs. I mean, I've got 3,000 into it, but I can't handle not having yeah. a surface. If Bob would write a, an iPad app that I could have something that at least resembled, you know. Give me a virtual knob. Exactly. Yeah, something. The thing about it is, I seen a guy come through a couple of months ago with a rack of focus right prints. Right. And all into a, a mainframe. Mainframe out to these Behringer USB controllers. Eight channel USB yep, controllers. Yep. With a screen. Yep. It sounded like I. She's recording this right now, so I can't... We can cut it out. Sound. It sounded like cats fucking. Yeah, it's not bad. The love of the show went up. It sounded like two cats with their tails tied together slung over a line. Fight. Oh. It was bad. But the more, the more diesel he put to it, it just seemed to grainy, more grainy, more grainy. I'm like, dude, he's like... Told the idea. I don't have a console. If I want to swap anything out, I can go to Radio Shack and you know buy any part. So, yeah, but it sounds like shit. <laughs> How about you get a console and you won't have to repair as many parts. There's there's certain things that you know a, a you well built have. channel strip does. Well, for yeah, you. absolutely. You know, yeah, like, you're only as, you're only as good as the as the, the cheapest part of your rig. I think you're always going to need the DSP. Oh yeah, we're past but, that point now. That's, yeah, that's done. You gotta have the DSP, and after that, 